All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time for my last reaction for today, and it is the recap of Jajutsu's Dawn and Plenty of Apes. When Caesar finally gives Koba the faith on a one-on-one. -on -one. So basically, like I said, it's a recap of Dawn and Plenty of Apes. One of my favorite movies of the last decade. It's hard to believe we're already getting another Plenty of Apes movie coming out. I'm aware that the Trees of Trade just came out about two weeks ago, I believe, from Torrent Century Studios, which I'm excited to see it, because I love the reboot, Jujutsu. I freaking love it, man. And... It's just like wow, dude. It's been it's been long since we since Water Plane Ace came out. I think almost like what 2017 came out, I believe. So it did came out 2017, so seven years later. Twenty Century Studios is coming back with another Plane Ape. So I'm excited to see this recap. So Hot Squad, got nothing to say. Let's jump right to it. Let's check out Sajusu's recap of Donner Plane Apes right now. It's about to go down. And now our feature presentation. So Cobra runs off and ends up stealing the strap from the humans and came back to the hood on timing, bro. <laughs> While Caesar and his shawty meeting back up with the gang, he caught Cobra on low ground doing a side quest, but didn't input fast enough and got <laughs> flipped. Bro Damn. fell off that tree grabbing his chest like he was finna pledge allegiance. <laughs> Damn. Banger. So back in the hood, some humans got let in by Caesar. You got the neighborhood bully Cobra over here pressing them. And these ain't no regular apes. These fools be talking and jump. <laughs> Got that are you smarter than the fifth grader intelligence? Cobra over here like, oh, oh, shiver my timbers. <laughs> he started screaming like he had an issue. That theme music came on and all the monkey holes cleared the way. That camera passed to the left and Caesar over here shoulder posted on the wall like a Glee character. Brody steps go. out and he got all <laughs> the shots shook. Hey girl, I told you Cobra crazy. Yeah, he is. But Caesar finna cave his dome piece in. Hmm. Then Cobra interrupts Caesar's walkout, talking about some You let humans in hood. You hmm. put apes in danger. Caesar sick. Caesar doodle bum. Caesar gave <laughs> Cobra that mama stare. Like when you <coughs> keep touching too much stuff in the grocery store. Then he <laughs> saw his son and was like, Oh nah, you ain't gonna hold me in front of mine. And then bro started crashing out, spearing Cobra dead in his gut. But Damn. Cobra hit that reversal and took the high ground on Caesar pummeling Brody. The whole hood in the back just instigating. Caesar saw the shawties watching and turned into Jordan Poole, averaging a 20 point triple double. He hit that spin move regaining high ground, hit bro with two bites to the jaw, got him dazed. Then started spamming heavy attacks. Caesar is really over here landing Sharkisha level haymakers <laughs> on Koba. Then used his grab trying to choke bro out while bashing his cranium galactus into the flooring. I see there is no concussion protocol around these parts. Caesar let out that him scream and bro Koba is in straight chicken box mode. Sent dude straight back to the lobby. I told y'all niggas I was crazy <laughs> but hey don't kill. Hey. Caesar stepped over Koba like Iverson over T. Lou. And Koba looked over and saw the humans witness that pack up session. I knew he was gonna spin the block <laughs> after that. And his two shawties up top to ran off on him. Yeah, he's cooked. <laughs> Bro coming back with no morals. <laughs> he gets up and asks Caesar for his forgiveness. Caesar spared Koba, but he knew this was the spark of a soon to come nigga moment. <laughs> So Cobra runs off and ends up stealing the strap from the humans and came back to the hood on timing, bro. While Caesar and his shawty meeting back up with the gang, he caught Cobra on low ground doing a side quest, but <laughs> didn't input fast enough and got blipped. Bro Damn. fell off that tree grabbing his chest like he was finna pledge allegiance <laughs> and all the other apes over here confuzzled. Caesar's son peeked over and saw the blicky, but it was all part of Cobra's plan. Hmm. He showed the gun to the gang talking about some... God. And I ain't gonna lie, whoever voiced bro's line, hold bro, he was not cooking with that voice. <laughs> but OG Orangutan knew something was fishy and told the other humans to run. Then look who shows up thinking they in the edit. Freaking Cobra. Oh, bro hopped up, yep. grabbed that gun from old boy, then submitted his nominee for this year's Oscar. <laughs> humans kill Caesar, set home on fire. Apes back. Humans Snitch. up. And smoke ass snitch. on dead ops. <laughs> That's so nice. So Caesar's son healed his pops back up to full HP and started spilling the beans on what Cobra's <laughs> real plan was. Bro woke up and knew what he had to do. Mm -hmm. Caesar's pull-up game is strong though. Bro slid up on Cobra and the apes in the new hood. Dude, Cobra jumped over that red one like he was cool. Then bro start looking up slowly with this balding <laughs> comb over build. Thing about Cobra though. 
he got that thing on him and he will let that mug loose caesar this is my hood apes follow king koba now bro oh, rolled his that, eyes is that for he ain't visit? hearing none of it <laughs> oh lame old nigga. king koba doodle bop caesar <laughs> stay roasting broski now he over here heated and if bro was smart he would get the gang to just go ahead and jump man caesar because i know that last fade koba lost is still on his mind man started monkeying around hyping up all the other apes then tell caesar caesar weak nigga but caesar came back with that unbeatable roast the same roast reversal technique koba weak nigga bro yeah. got tarnished Wait a boy he looked at that blicky and I thought it was over. But I guess the new hood got to his head. He threw away his best chance of beating Buddy. Anyways, bro pressed Caesar and dropped two hands for feet dead that. to his chest, making him land spine first on this metal rail. Caesar ate that lick though and kicked Koba in his jump full range of motion. Man's controller died midair, so he hit that noggin on the way down. But Koba really got home court advantage and started wailing on Caesar. He hit him with a double handed overhead. <laughs> quick uppercut then double overhead again into a jab hook setup finishing it with a backhand uppercut okay cobra really got in the lab after that first phase to no avail though caesar fell off and ray mysterio cobra into the scaffold yeah. <laughs> caesar's homie asking for that jumping cameo like this mortal Kombat, but caesar shook his head no because he know cobra is really light work bro got up after taking fall damage and went straight back to hoa nigga mode. He picked up this pipe looking crazy. That's bro. Wild, got Caesar looking flabbergasted. Koba must got his sensitivity maxed out though, because he can't hit Caesar across the dome piece with that pole to save his life. And what's up with this moving fade? If y'all goofies don't stay still so I can get the angles for the grain, <laughs> Caesar over here cornered with this Minecraft shield. But that mug doing wonders, boy. Cause he parry all these Fisher Price swings and continue to roast. Koba. Swing like. Weak, oh, nigga. <laughs> Caesar really got bro in again, Jutsu. Got him by his element. Here comes the final round. A double hand to the gut. That lick got man's face in the wrong direction. Now Caesar done Eek. weaved his jump and kicked the pool right back into his gut. He did that backward stinky leg to retreat. But Caesar wants his ISO and press bro. So Koba starts spamming, of course. But he didn't know Caesar was scheming and caught yet another double hand to the liver. So what does a grommy nigga always do? Yeah resort back to his grommy ways because man's yanked down that debris got man's tumbling into a tarzan Jeez. emote and then they got third party by some explosion down below Damn. once that happened i knew these goofies were whole hmm. stuff started falling and no luck for little homie right here he caught a beam dead to his spinal Ooh. accordion meanwhile accordion. caesar over here flopping off the chain like lebron bro got up from that flagrant two file and saw his homies just laying out greased by the fool who brought TNT to a fist fight. <laughs> oh, lame on it. Look at bro eyes. He could have swore he was finna get saved. Koba lifted that rubble for one thing and one thing only. That blicky, my nigga. So go ahead and let me hold it. Why bro so devious? Like, I know you're getting cooked. But why take it out on the NPCs knowing they can't fight back? It pans back to Caesar trying to help a fallen soldier. But Koba came out the cut to smear these goofies noggins across the middle with the Damn. blitz. Now Damn. dude showing his true colors. He should have had this energy at the beginning of the fade. Hmm. And maybe he'd be up right now. But Caesar got behind cover. Looked to his right. Just to see his homie get greased like Ricky from Boys in the Hood. <laughs> Caesar Damn. looking like. Is this nigga serious? <laughs> he took matters into his own hand. And leaped chest first dead oh. onto Koba's forehead. Bro hmm. must really think he a rock star Damn. jumping like that. These fools just been tackling and wrestling on these beams like they ain't taking no damage. <laughs> Somebody's bluffing, my nigga. Now <laughs> Caesar over here slumped with no plates. While Koba over here dangling from the metal beam like boots from Dora. Dude forgot to crack his knuckles pre-fight. Now he losing grip. I guess Caesar popped the sensu beam. Cause he pops up head first with the high ground once again. And he got that look of disgust over top Koba. Like he fed up with all of his shenanigans. <laughs> so Koba pulls the last trick out his book. That talk no jutsu. <laughs> ape, don't kill ape. Right. So Caesar reached down to grab Brody. Mind you, he still hasn't said anything. Mm. But then he caught a glance of his pre-smoked homies and turned into Arthur. Koba. Not ape. Koba. Weak nigga. <laughs> then he dropped Brody off into oblivion. And that's how I'm gonna do y'all if y'all don't subscribe. <laughs> jutsu Mafia. Hidden technique. Beef. Oh, I.
Great recap, man. That was a great recap. Yeah, that man, this movie was freaking crazy. I loved it, man. It makes me want to see it again. It's been so long since I've seen um Dawn the Plenty Eights. But yeah, there you go, Hot Squad. W recap, Jajutsu, W recap. So, like I said, there you have it. That's my reaction for Jajutsu's recap. But Dawn of the Plenty Apes, y'all. So I know it's gonna be short, a little short, simple, you know, because I'm tired from work and whatnot. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, so Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction of this recap. From Jajutsu. Please hit that button, comment, share your thoughts. What is your favorite Planet of the Apes movie? Are you excited for Kingdom Planet of the Apes? And like I said before, I will be reacting to the teaser trailer tomorrow. So, Hot Squad, this is Hard Start Sun Up for today. I will see y'all later for more reactions. Always stay up the sky. Peace out and have a great day.